So there's this fun tool by MyHeritage called Deep Nostalgia. You might have heard of it. They released it um, back when Rootstack came out this year. And it is how you can animate photos of your ancestors. So you can upload photos of your ancestors or really any photos that you want and you can animate them. Now they recently came out with some new animations that are only available for those who are a premium member on MyHeritage. If you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you have access to this membership. So I'm going to show you um, those animations, how you can upload them, and some fun things you can do with them. Okay, so if you do not have a MyHeritage account, just go to MyHeritage.com, scroll down all the way. and then click on animate photos. You might have a thing that comes up on myheritage.com. Just for me, I had to scroll all the way down. Um, and here you can just directly upload a photo. You will have to, um, you will have to create an account. So here you can create an account. You can just um, log in with Facebook or do Google and then create an account. So then it brings you to this page and it just starts animating your photo. Okay, and then you can see the animation there. If you want to share that video, you can share it to Facebook or you can um, make a link to that, to that photo. You can also download the video here and then you'll be able to upload it to other sites like Instagram or whatever, um, or you can upload another photo. Now this just shows you one animation, right? But if you want to try some other animations, you click on go to my photos because there's, they kind of do a default. They, they give you the animation that they think will work best with it. Okay, so then you can see the photos that you've uploaded. Here's the one that we just did. And then you can try some different animations. You can also colorize or enhance them, but we're just going to focus on the animating. Okay, so it chose animation number seven as the default. They kind of, um, uh, just by the way that the face is shaped or, or the perspective that it's in, it will do some animations there. But if you click on this animation thing, it has all these general animations that you can try out. So if you want to try out any different ones and see what they look like. Okay, so they all just look a little bit different. Then there are these new animations that they have, these special animations, but these are only available with the premium membership. So it will take you to this page where you have to, um, have to pay for that. But I'm going to show you how I do that with my, my Heritage account. Okay, so here's the homepage of MyHeritage. Uh, if you just click on Photos, you can go to My Photos, and then you can select one of the ones to animate. If you don't have any photos, you can just click here to upload some photos and find those on your computer. Uh, so we're just gonna do this one here. It's got a nice um, straight head on. That is one of my great, great grandmothers, I believe. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to click on animate here and I'll show you some of those new animations that they have that are kind of fun. Okay, so it's selected animation number eight as the one that fits best with this picture. Looks pretty good. Okay, but we're going to try some of these new animations. So these are some special animations. Um, smile, dance, kiss. Okay, we're just going to try some of them. So let's just try the smile one. So you can see it just gives a little more interest to the video, a little more than uh, those basic animations. Okay, now these ones are my favorite, the dance ones. <laughs> it might seem a little weird to see your uh, great, great grandma dancing, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, let's try some other um, pictures that I have here. So if you're done that one and you just want to go back to your photos, you can just go back to your album here. And then let's try another one. Let's see. So if you have multiple people in the picture, um, 
it will just let you select a face to animate. So we're going to do him. And this one's already colorized it. Um, anyway, so this one shows animation number 10. Just click there. And let's see. Let's try a kiss and a wink. So you can see sometimes it does look a little bit weird if their face is not straight head on. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. Okay, so then once you have found a video that you like, you can either download it or then you can also share straight to Facebook or you can copy the link and share it anywhere else. So hopefully that helped you out. You can try those out with your own family photos and <laughs> I'm sure your kids will love it. My, my kids think it's hilarious and they love to animate those photos of their ancestors. So give it a try. If you do it, please tag me. I would love to see any photos that you animate and and share on social media. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.